Hello, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com and here's a quick video on how to make your laptop faster. It's free and easy. To begin with, these steps are being done in Windows 10, but many of them can be done in Windows 7 as well. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here. By jumping right into the nitty gritty of our performance settings within our laptop here, and we'll go down to the start menu right click that opens up the hidden menu go up and left click on system and I'll open up the system information page within Windows 10 and the first thing you want to make note of is the amount of RAM you do have installed on your laptop no matter what you do if you have less than four gigabytes of RAM installed on your laptop you know the performance is just going to be sluggish so make sure you have at least four I have eight alright go over to the right hand side click on advanced system settings and then over on the left hand side here we'll move this window over into the center so that we can see that a little bit better under the advanced tab the category performance we want to click on settings and when you do that opens up the performance options now by default what is marked or checked off is let Windows choose what's best for my computer. Now if you want the very best performance, I recommend you know, uh, selecting adjust the best performance. And what happens is that all the check marks right below here will disappear. So none of these are now checked off. All of these slow your computer down a little bit. And that's why they all disappear. And once you're happy with that, click on apply. Now keep in mind at any given time if you don't like um, you know maybe the way the fonts look on your desktop or whatever you can come back in here and click on let's windows choose what's best for my computer and that way you know you go back to the defaults if you want to alright go ahead and click on OK once you're happy with clicking on performance and let's go ahead and get out of here and next let's go ahead and optimize our power plan settings within Windows 10 by going down to our taskbar on the right hand side here and we'll right click on our battery icon and then we'll move up and left click on power options and that will open up the choose a or choose or customize a power plan window and by default Windows 10 has balance selected and that's pretty good however if you want to get maximum performance uh, go ahead and click on the drop down arrow there and you'll see high performance plan go ahead and click on that now keep in mind if you do click on high performance and use this um, it will drain your battery quite significantly faster so if you're going to run high performance on the power plan I do suggest you leave your laptop plugged into AC power so that your battery doesn't get drained quickly okay next let's go ahead and optimize our boot up time into Windows basically once you turn your laptop on and it boots into Windows 10 we can speed that up so that you are on your Windows desktop a lot quicker by going down to our start menu here right clicking and then left clicking on run once you have the open command line um, being displayed here go ahead and type in msconfig and that's msconfig and then you can either hit the enter key or click OK and that opens up the system configuration window and we want to go ahead and click on the boot tab and down on the right hand side here it's referred to as timeout in essence if we change this between 7 to 10 seconds versus 30 seconds by default um, it's going to boot into Windows 10 a lot quicker uh, once you turn your laptop on and we can click on apply and I recommend not going below 7 because it does need some boot up time to do some things before it goes into Windows 10. Now let's go ahead and click on startup tab here and we'll open up the task manager from the system configuration and once the task manager is open up we can go ahead and click on the startup tab if it's not displayed and then here is where all these programs are starting up when Windows 10 is starting and we can enable or disable them as we choose and in this case I'll go ahead and you know disable or enable Intel Graphics Command Center and you can see it's very easy to do so if you don't want a program starting up um, when Windows starts you can certainly do that 
And one thing I do strongly recommend that you do not do is do not disable anything that has to do with your uh, Windows 10's security or anti-malware um, or antivirus programs. Definitely leave those enabled because you want them running and protecting your laptop. Okay, we'll get out of that and I could restart here, but I'm not. I'm gonna go ahead and exit. Um, and then we can go on to our next step here that will optimize the performance of your laptop and speed things up. If you have a mechanical drive versus a SSD drive, we can go ahead and defrag our mechanical drive and you do that by going down to the search line here type in the word defrag up here we'll click on defrag and optimize drives and if you have a mechanical drive you can definitely you know defrag your hard drive and schedule defrag times uh, weekly monthly or you know daily but um, as you can see I have an SSD drive and I strongly recommend not defragging SSDs you don't need to um, but if you have a mechanical drive you can click on turn on and then run on a schedule um, which is recommended I'm gonna go ahead and cancel and again SSD drives don't uh, defrag them they have a special option called trim that uh, organizes the data on an SSD all right, um, let's go ahead and move on to our next option to um, speed up our laptop computer here. Now this step has to do with our background image or our wallpaper or our theme that we're running. A lot of people will be running, you know, Windows default um, background or wallpaper or they're running a personal picture and or even a solid color. Um, which is fine, but if you are running an active desktop, in other words, you know, you got animation going on here and, you know, the picture is moving and all that, you want to go into personalize um, by right clicking on your desktop and changing that um, to a static picture. One of these defaults is fine. I happen to be running or using the one with a uh, woman running on the beach. And if you want, you can even change it to a solid color. Now, running an active desktop, in most cases, when you're game playing on your laptop, will slow your computer down and you will lose um, a few FPS, you know, frames per second. So if you want a couple of extra frames per second um, during gameplay, definitely, you know, adjust your wallpaper or your background image to a static picture or solid color. All right, next, let's go down over to the left-hand side here and click on Colors. And what we want to go ahead and do is move down here um, to you get to Transparency Effects, and we'll turn this off. Now, you might not think this is going to do much, but um, it might gain you one or two more FPS um, during gameplay. And uh, if it doesn't, you can always come back in here and turn Transparency Effects back on. Okay, um, as you can see, I went ahead and left this as a solid color for a few moments, but uh, let's go back to my Windows favorite default uh, wallpaper. And uh, this is it, as you can see. And uh, we wanna go ahead and go down to our start menu and left click on settings. And that will open up the Windows settings window. And this is where we're gonna click on system. And this is where we will make our final changes to increase some performance within our uh, laptop computer here. And click on notifications and actions. And this is where we want to go ahead and take a look here. And if you don't want any notifications um, from your apps and other centers at all, definitely just go ahead and uh, you know turn this off. But if you do, you can come down here and, you know, uncheck, uh, get tips, uh, suggest ways, and show me the Windows welcome experience. Most people using Windows today really don't need those. Also, you can come down here and individually um, turn off notifications for some of your apps that are running um, in the background here. And, uh, you know, and leave some on. It's up to you. Um, personally, I like to leave them turned, uh, the uh, notifications that is turned completely off most of the or time. Or sometimes I just come back in and turn them back on for whatever reason. Um, sometimes I need some notifications coming through and uh, so I'll turn them back on. 
Okay, um, keep in mind that any of these, um, you know, optimization steps that I have in this um, tutorial here for you are strictly uh, by choice. Um, you can choose to do them or not. Um, it's up to you. You don't need to do them all. You can do some of them and see how, you know, your laptop runs. Okay, let's go down to our action center icon on our taskbar here and left click on it. And that opens up the action center. And right here is where the brightness for our display is. And it, it moves from left to right, if you didn't know that already. But uh, I like to keep mine around 55 to 75, um, right in that area. Um, the reason I point this out is because, you know, your battery, the brighter your display is, the more drainage is on your battery. So your battery won't last as long um, on a single charge if you have the brightness turned all the way up. Also, your battery charge will last longer if you have Bluetooth turned off if you're not using it. And if you want maximum battery saver, definitely, you know, click here and you will um, be able to use your laptop longer between battery charges. Okay, um, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like and leave a like if you like.